Good morning, folks. This is Bill from Little White Dory. After a couple of days of rain, and in between the days of rain, we took advantage of the time to build some gardens. So we built out this little garden here in front of the fence. We trimmed down the grasses. The ornamental grasses are now put away for the winter. We moved some, uh, let's see, it's a redwood dogwood, a sand cherry, and a hydrangea, I believe, or rhododendron, or azalea, or one of the other common ones. And then an area in here that's got a lot of bulbs that'll hopefully come up. And bulbs interspersed in here. Hopefully they'll be out before the grasses come in full. And we cleaned up in here, put a layer of the mulch down. I don't know if that's going to survive, but that's some uh, sage. A little more sage over here, which looks like it got pretty much destroyed. We'll see what happens. Yeah, these guys came through with the leaf blower and they blew all the muck up on the plants. They don't realize. So, what are you going to do? Got the black-eyed Susans were all trimmed for the winter. We had the driveway seal coated, and unfortunately, this section stayed in shade, and we had such a heavy dew that it basically all washed off. It's going to have to get redone, I guess. It's unfortunate. This side came out nice. It dried before the weather changed, but you can see it sort of along the ledge edge here. That we just have a. It didn't. It didn't coat. <laughs> it's like it wasn't there at all. It just washed away. Made a big mess, but we'll fix it. In the back here, we got some work done on the... Let's get this all hooked up. Well, we, let's go this way. We moved things around so that we could get the seal coating done, but as you can see, it's a disaster. It's going to be nice and black, and it's shot. Have to do it again, to some extent, anyway. Where it, where it did uh, dry, it did okay, but... Looks like crap. <laughs> There's the dog wonder. What's up, Gumbo? Can you see him? There he is. He just ate a big chunk of ice. We had a nice frost last night. Left me an eighth of an inch of ice on the coating of everything. We got the uh, garlic all done. We've got those, the, the gardens from up front came from this stuff over here moved arborvitaes and stuff and we opened up this whole section back here now we still have all this temporary fence up that's kind of a you know deceiving as far as it's not there permanently it's just to keep the dogs and chickens apart from each other we still have this big huge pile of mulch to deal with um we trimmed that tree back there and uh oh, i'm gonna have to make some sort of usable space out of this for growing for next year so i can keep myself in vegetables over the summer I really don't have um, a big interest in that, which is going to sound strange, meaning I enjoy the economics of it. I enjoy some of the aspects of building, but I can't say that I truly, truly love the, <laughs> the farming gardening part. Um, that would be more of a, a project or a job. 33 little word. But either way, um, hopefully I'll get more produce to be, pro to be available early and more consistent. And this whole area here is going to have to get rearranged and configured so that I can put, you know, different kinds of plants in and see what I get. So far, I've been kind of the box garden or the raised bed garden kind of guy. Um, and that's kind of easy, but I think I have to consider that efficiency isn't the best in a box garden. So we'll figure it out, whether it's a greenhouse, a tunnel, something. I plan on clearing out all this in back here and grading it out so that it's level. That I have to see about whether I'm going to hire somebody with a skid steer or something like that. I don't think I can do that by hand. Anyway, folks, um, uh, look at that. Dog wonders leaving us a present. <laughs> Dog farts and he poops on command. <laughs> All right, Gumbo, on that note, we're going to say goodbye. Because now he's probably going to go chase his tail because, I don't know, maybe he's got a few Klingons. <laughs> Y'all have a good day wherever you are. I hope you're having a better day than Gumbo is. Bye-bye.